Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. This time we will tackle the problem to select a lot of SNPs at the same time in Tassel. As I explained in the previous video, for me, the selection of these position lists somehow did not work. Well, you can select site names in a very neat form with this site names option here and by selecting and basically moving one or more sites to the lists and then well, just selecting them based with this button of capture selected and unselected. So that is possible. But what happens if you need to select hundreds of SNPs or thousands of SNPs? You don't want to go through, click them one by one and adding them to the list. What you might have is something like this. So basically a list of SNPs that you need to, need to select from your data. But as I understand it, this list is not the right format for any of the options in TASO. Well, these two file formats were explained, so we know it's not that. And if we try with this position list here, so we get this kind of an error message. Actually, I tried multiple versions of the same and still did not work. So what can we do? So if we have a map file or if we have a file that contains both the site names and the chromosome and position, we can transform this file to a file that contains the chromosome number and position for each of these SNPs, which can be included into the chromosome and position file option of TASL. In order to do this, I put together a very small script and I will share the link for this script in the description below. So basically what it does, it changes this file with the SNP names to this file with the chromosomes and positions for each SNPs in a proper tab delimitation so it can be read, read in in TASA. So how we do that? So it, First, we just clear the work environment. We use tidyverse and we set the working directory. This you need to change according to your computer. Now this commented out part of the script is just used to generate the list of the SNPs. So I wanted to generate an 50 random SNPs from the tutorial data sets to start off. A crucial point is an existence of the map file of some sort. So this is the tutorial data of TASL. So you see we have the chromosome, the SNP name, the Morgan position that is left to unknown, and then the exact base pair position. So basically what we do, we read in this file with all the SNPs. We read in this file with the 50 or more SNP names, or basically this is the any number of SNPs that you want to extract. This could be hundreds or thousands even. So that is done basically in here and in here, we join them together, keeping only the information from the list, which is on both files, select only chromosome and position and write it out in a tab delimited text file. Here I have done also some renaming because it is the default names are X1, X2 and so on. So I renamed the columns to more sensible names. If you have pad and map files, you can use actually the same thing. Of course, if you have different input files or different file where you have your chromosomes and positions and SNP names, you need to adapt this script accordingly. But at the end, it produces this file, which I named the SNP name to chromosome position in tassel.txt. And this is this tab delimited text file as we spoke about. You see, this is the random selection of SNPs. So there is a quite a mix up in terms of chromosomes. So it's not ordered in terms of uh, lower to higher in terms of chromosome numbers and base pair positions, but this does not seem to matter because what you can do is use this file with this browse button here, locate it on the hard disk. So this is for me, click open and click okay. And you see that these are exactly these 50 SNPs that I chose as an example. Also, if you click this locus radio button here, which actually are the chromosomes. So you see that these are from all around the genome, but this is just because it was a random selection of SNPs. 
As I mentioned before, if you have the SNP names for any number of SNPs, you can actually use the same script to transfer these to chromosomes and base pair positions and extract them also in a graphical user interface in TASO. Also, if you know about an easier solution to extract SNPs based on SNPs names in the graphical user interface of TASO, please let me know down in the comments below. For now, I thank you for your time and have a really nice day.